Hello everyone, my name is Sana and this is a demo of our Fridge Tracker app project made by myself, Mark and Aiden. The purpose of this app is to help you get ideas about what to cook with leftover ingredients and essentially reduce food wastage. The Fridge Tracker app has been deployed using Netlify, there is React for the front end, and the back end has been made in Express in Node.js. The app has been fully tested using the React testing library. All styling has been done using CSS with a simple grid layout to display the results. So without further delay, let me show you what the Fridge Tracker can do. From our burger menu here on the right, I'm going to select search by ingredients. This takes us to the search by ingredients page where you can enter ingredients here to see what you can make. For example, I'll just enter salami and cheese. I will click on go and the app will show us a maximum of nine recipes for what we can cook using salami and cheese at this point i would also like to mention of course that we are using a third party api called spoonacular which takes these ingredients as query parameters to then retrieve results of course there are um, various endpoints that are being accessed that return the ready in parameter and uh, serving amount and calories. There is a veal recipe option too. And uh, this was not being, not all of this is being returned by just one query. There's, there are multiple queries running behind every recipe card. So for example, now if I click on via recipe, that will take me to a third party website where I can view the recipe and the step by step instructions on how to cook this. And there we have it. So going back to our fridge tracker app. Let us try something else. As you can see, there are filters that we can use for filtering our um, recipes using um, diet preferences and intolerance preferences. So for example, if I need only vegan diets and I say I'm allergic to peanuts, and uh, let's enter ingredients such as spinach and I'll choose tomato. Let's hit go. So here are some recipes that are going to be vegan, peanut free, that you can cook with spinach and tomato. Likewise, just the same as before, if I am to click on view recipe, this will take me to another third party website where I can see all the recipes step by step. Moving on to what else our app offers. Once again, from the menu, I am going to choose search by recipe. Now, as the name suggests, you can simply just enter the name of a recipe here. And when I hit enter, that will show me all the different kinds of recipes that I can follow in order to uh, make cake. And once again, if I am to click on view recipe for each of these, that'll take me to a third party website where I can view these recipes step by step. Once again, I can, uh, I can filter out and uh, tell the app whether I want a recipe suited more to my dietary preferences and intolerances. For example, if I enter gluten-free and egg-free cake recipes, if I click on go, that'll show me gluten-free and egg-free cake recipes.
this um, this query basically did not return all of this uh, information. We had to essentially extract the ID for each recipe, which was then um, sent as a query parameter into another API API endpoint. And from that second API endpoint, the view recipe URL was extracted, which is what's running behind this little link at the bottom, the view recipe. Um, the third option that the Fridge Tracker app gives you is the get random recipe endpoint. Basically, just as the name suggests, if you hit the go button, it will return nine random recipes for you. You can click on any of those to go see how to make them. If we keep hitting go, it'll return more and more random recipes that we can view later. So this brings us to the end of the demo for our fridge tracker app. Please feel free to take a look around and let us know for any more suggestions. Thank you.